Hi there, this is Ashwin again. So in this video tutorial, we are going to see how to use uh, doc test for uh, unit test automation in Python 3. So in the earlier series um, of the videos, we have already learned how to use single line as well as multi line doc strings for uh, the documentation within the code itself and how to retrieve it programmatically. So in this um, tutorial, we will see how to programmatically use the, uh, the doc strings to uh, um, for uh, writing the unit tests. So let's get started with this. So we will just directly get started with hands-on and uh, along the way I will um, uh, explain you the concepts. So just say file, new file, save the file in the regular directory of yours, uh, your choice. So we have um, all the way through 4 through uh, 10. So we will just say prog 11. So um, let's get started with doc strings. Okay, sample test cases with doc test. Uh, in this um, uh, module, we are going to define two functions. So def mul a comma b, and the function will return return a into b and let's say def uh, add a comma b return a plus b now this is going to be this is going to be uh, uh, this is going to be our module uh, where we are going to use a doc, st doc strings for unit testing. Okay, so now uh, pay close attention to what I'm doing. So here I'm going to mention the doc strings. Okay, so let's write doc strings for this. So MUL. So now this uh, is nothing but the prompt. Okay, if you have seen let, let me show you. Okay, this is the prompt of the Python shell. Okay. And if I'm going to directly import this file into Python prompt and if I'm going to say a comma b okay or we will say 3 comma 4 so it should give us the output 12 okay so again the similar way we will have another case where we are going to multiply uh, where we are going to multiply the characters with uh, with a number with an integer to be very specific just say six okay so it will the output should be b b b b b b so b repeated six times and then let's close the doc strings okay so now if you can see uh, if you if you have already observed so we are just like trying to um, guess what should be the output on the uh, python shell if we directly execute uh, these uh, these functions on the uh, on the shell okay so that uh, we are predicting that we uh, we are just like contemplating what that behavior should be and we are then uh, writing the doc strings according to that so the same way we are just going to copy this and paste it we will just make the changes to this okay so again just like change all the mul with a double d and addition of three and four should be seven and add b because the string and integer cannot be added we haven't actually got included the case for that just say c so it should be bc okay so now these are the doc strings for that okay now let's execute uh, this module in the python shell okay so the execution of this module is going to be uh, not going to be any significant uh, activity we won't be able to see any um, any output here because uh, we do not have any sort of business logic which is gonna make use of these functions or which is gonna make use of this uh, these doc strings okay however if we open the command prompt okay let's browse to the directory Okay, 
and uh, let me open a notepad and show you what command I'm going to use. So I'm going to uh, mention the command in the description below. So let's say Python. Okay. So when we say Python hyphen M, it, uh, it stands for we are using Python with some module. Okay. The next parameter that we are going to pass to the Python, um, uh, Python executable should be the name of the module that we are going to use. So say here doc test because that is the module that we are going to use and hyphen V, V uh, stands for verbose and say, te uh, say uh, mention the name of module, say prog 11 dot py. Okay. So now uh, we have manually prepared this command and now we are going to execute this command in the prompt. So just copy it and say switch to the next line. We have pasted the command in the console and let's run it. See. Okay. So now let's have a look at the output closely. So here, uh, let's have a look at the command first. So here we are uh, mentioning uh, by by means of minus m parameter, we are mentioning that we are going to use the doc test module, which is nothing but the documentation testing module of Python. It is the built in module of uh, Python and it, it, it is a standard library module. It is the part of uh, Python's batteries included philosophy and hyphen V stands for the verbose. Verbose means it, it uh, returns a very detailed output and uh, prog11.py is the name of our module. So now let's have a look at the output. Okay. In detail. So it is saying now, uh, so see, this is where we have executed the command and now from here the output begins. So let's have a look at the first block. It says trying add three comma four and expecting seven. And finally it says, okay. Okay. It means that it has cleared the test. Okay. The similar way we have the other three blocks of uh, trying and okay, trying and okay. So it is going to um, uh, see, and now let's compare it with the code. Okay. So this says the, uh, um, uh, the, uh, in, in the code uh, here, we have mentioned the doc strings. So here the, what should be the input and it should be the expected output when this expected output matches the actual output. Okay. On the, um, Python shell, it, it clears that test. Otherwise it fails that test. We are going to see it in uh, quite a, um, a few moments, like how to fail a test intentionally and uh, trying MUL B comma six. So it should be expecting BBB, BBB. And yes, it actually returns BBB, BBB, like B repeated six times in quotes. So one item had no tests, uh, that is prog 11. That is nothing but the, um, uh, the, do uh, the documentation itself, because see, we have here mentioned doc string, but we haven't mentioned any sort of test in that. So let's keep that part. And it says, um, two items passed uh, um, uh, all the tests. Okay. So, um, so as of now we have like two items. Okay. So let's see which these are two items. This is the first item and this is the second item. And uh, so two tests in program uh, PROG 11 dot add. So as you can see here in the code, we have mentioned uh, two tests in add and two tests in PROG 11 dot MUL. So it is like qualifying the, uh, uh, it is using the uh, uh, module name as a qualifier for like uh, identifying the functions. So now it says four tests in three items and uh, four passed and zero failed. So here there are like three items. The first item of the doc string is this one There there was no test in that. And th that's what it has mentioned here in this line. We have already discussed it. So uh, by having a uh, look at it, you will have a very fair idea like how the doc string works. Okay. So now we have executed this command with, uh, like by keeping the verbosity on. So let's try to execute it by skipping the verbosity option. So now let's go to the next line and paste it. Okay. So now we have actually eliminated the verbosity. That's why we do, we are not able to see anything at all. Okay. Unless uh, the test is failing, it is not going to return. It is not going to print anything in the console. Okay. So if you just like keep the verbosity on again, it is going to, um, it is going to provide the detailed information, how it passed and how, how it actually, um, checked in all the, um, all the doc strings. So uh, let's now move forward with, uh, by, by modifying the example. Okay. 
so now let's um, make some mistake in the test itself so now the expected output that we are actually keeping it incorrect okay so now mul b comma six it should be actually um, be repeated six times but i am just like um i have just like deleted one b and now it is b repeated five times over so if i run it directly in the python it is not still gonna print any output however if i execute it with doc test okay it's gonna say failed example okay expected b b b b b and we have got b repeated only uh, b repeated six times okay so it it provides the detailed summary of the failure if you keep the verbosity on and let's try this thing with verbosity off it will still show us something okay so now it just it doesn't actually show uh, which test passed but it just displays the failure result so now this is how um, uh, the doc test works so we can just mention here the expected results as well as um, the real results and uh, uh, and then it will uh, compare the expected results with the real outputs in uh, output in the console and then it will show us the summary of the execution so now let's let's see uh, let's have a look at the code again so here we have made the mistake okay so now if you rectify the mistake again and save the code and if we run this code again now it is running flawlessly without any issues so this is how the doc strings work we simply need to uh, mention how the function or how that stuff is supposed to behave in the python shell and then we need to also um, append it with the expected output and the python shell will automatically compare it with the uh, actual result okay and then it is going to compare the actual result with the expected output and it is going to mark the tests with pass or fail so whenever we uh, whenever we say um, whenever we mention this as a, uh, a python uh, shell here so it actually treats this particular thing as a new test case okay and every block of doc string is um, is checked for uh, existence of the tests in that so this is how the doc strings work